Now this is a, another of the small tungsten bead nymphs that I tie, and this is a size 20. Now I'm using a 1.5 tungsten bead a millimeter in gold. Now the hook I'm using is a, a dry fly hook, believe it or not. It's called the Ultimate Dry. Uh, it's a barbless black nickel, uh, size 20. Now the thread I'm going to be using is a fire orange thread in 8 from uni. Now the first thing I'm going to do is just get a wee touch of super glue. Basically, to stick the bead, to retouch at the head there, slide the bead up, and that'll hold and keep the bead in position while we tie the fly. Now it's a simple fly, keep it simple. For a fly in size 20 you have to. Now, thread, the reason I'm using the fire on thread is that I want a small tag at the back. So, we tie in the tail on the way down just to see if a retouch a bolt. Now, the tail is just some brown cork fibres, just a few fibres in for the tail. Length is looking around right about the, uh, the body. Just going to catch it in the way down as I say. I'm going to form the tag with the thread so this makes it easier to do that. Just come round the bend slightly and then come back up about a mil and a half or so. There we go. Now I'm going to tie in some fine copper wire. I'm going to do that, I'll just trim away the waist of the tail. It's just an extra small copper wire. Catch that on. Get pheasant tail fibre, just to call it pheasant tail. Only looking maybe four fibres is enough. I dropped one there. And then I'm just going to line up the ends here. Pull it right into the tip and then wind my thread up. Now I'm going to wind the pheasant tail towards myself, just building up the body. Go right up towards the bead and come across it with two or three turns. Now I can cross the pheasant tail and then do a turn onto the hook. Do the same again and again. This will lock it in. Trim out the waist. Bring your wire up the normal way just so that you're ribbing the fly. This will protect the pheasant tail fibre. Now, as I say, the fly is very simple. Screw in the wire and bend and break it off. Now you could finish even at that, that and still catch fish. Uh, nothing wrong with that itself, but I'm going to put some pe black peacock, uh, diamond bright. Just a, a flash. Now, just going to slightly come down the body a bit. Tighten up when you need to. And take away what you don't need. Just a wee drop left here just to finish off. When you finish with the, the, the thread at the bead, and then we drop a super glue onto the thread, and then what finish the nut bit. You don't need to varnish the fly, that is fine. Three turns or so, and then trim away the thread. And there we are, simple, simple wee fly. You can bring out some of the flash, just bring it out with the velcro. I like to bring it towards the bead and the eye, and then let it fall back all the way around. And just roll it within your fingers, the fly itself, just drawing back the fibre. There you go, keep it straggly like that, and uh, if it's one or two fibres too long, you can always trim them back. And there we go. Simple wee pheasant tail, size 20, with a wee tungsten bead. I mean, it's a great wee fly, any size, tie this whatever size you like, uh, I mean, you know, you'll catch fish with it, but this is a, basically a friend of mine that fishes the chalk streams. Uh, a couple of nymphs that I do tie them, I'll show you the, the other one, this is... The pair, as they say, that you would use. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Mm -hmm.